Hi there. Just going to take us for a walk around this 30 kilowatt hour Nissan Leaf uh, Ascenta. Uh, it's an older car. It's come in as a part exchange. Obviously, it was a 30 kilowatt hour car. Uh, however, it's done 88,000 miles and it's showing 9 out of 12 bars of battery health, which means I would personally I'd put this car at having around about sort of 70 miles worth of real world driving range, maybe more depending on time of year and, uh, and how you choose to drive your car. Uh, but yes, this is the cheapest EV we've got on the forecourt. So if you're after um, you know, like a, a low cost EV for local driving, it's a Nissan Leaf. It's a very nice, comfy, refined drive. Um, a really nice car. Uh, so yeah, like I say, it's uh, well 30 kilowatt hours, but with this car I'd, I'd put it around about sort of 70 miles worth of driving range, um, 88, 89,000 miles worth of driving range, uh, MOT and service, they're not due until March 2025. So yeah, nothing to worry about for ages uh, on this car. Uh, and you know, overall condition wise, it's actually quite good. Like I say, it's done a lot of miles uh, and it's eight years old. Uh, but I'll go around the car now and I'll point out any little, little noteworthy marks. There are there are a few, um, but on the main panels, you know, the car's in really good condition and pretty much unmarked. There's a few little sort of chip marks on the on the boot sill. I mean, it's nothing really. You can't really see them. And there's. A little bit of a mark around this side of the, uh, of the bumper. Is there, oh yeah, and this bloody logo is a bit of marking down there. I mean, that is really about it. And actually, you know, on reflection, looking at it through the camera, um, you know, it's not really very much at all. There's a couple of little chip marks down this side, which I'll put a bit of touch-up paint in there, so uh, they'll they'll look much better. marks. You know, and I'm sure there's a stone chip or two on the bonnet and the bumper. And there's a couple of little stone chips, one just there. But nothing too major, and I say, oh, I'll put a bit of touch of paint in these little chip marks, so they'll hardly notice. Uh, I mean, overall, when you consider the price point of this car, it's actually in really quite good condition. It's the Ascenta trim, so it's all the mid-spec. So you get the sort of fabric interior, but you still get a reversing camera. Um, you still get a, an inbuilt sat nav as well, and digital dash, uh, adaptive cruise, con adaptive cruise, cruise control, speed limiter, auto wipers, auto lights. So yeah, it was, it was actually quite for the for its era. It was actually quite a nice spec car. Yeah, nice condition inside, just like the outside. Decent sized boot. You know, the Leaf was obviously very, very popular at the time. Oops, sorry. It was very popular at the time. Uh, as a sort of the practical all rounder. You know, not too big. You know, nice and family size. If you're looking for an EV at the time, yeah, this was always the great all rounder. In that boot, we'll be putting a three pin charging lead like we do with all our cars. So, this car's going to come supplied with a lead that you can plug into a normal main socket so you can charge the car from that. So you don't necessarily even really need to get a charge point installed. And talking of charging, this car has the uh, uprated onboard charger, so it will charge on your home fast charger or public fast charger at twice the speed uh, of another Nissan Leaf of this age. So yeah, that's a nice little upgrade for you there. Uh, but there you have it. If you're looking for an electric car on a tight budget, this is a very, very nice option. Uh, but anyway, it's here for you on the forecourt, ready for a test drive or a viewing. Alternatively, we can deliver this car straight to your home. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to watch all our Nissan Leaf content on our website and on our YouTube channel. Hopefully you'll find those videos helpful. And hopefully we'll speak to you soon.